and we've got nine minutes. Open the top door. Uh, no one can sit nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Get the petrol. Can't it's the truth. I swear. No, there's nothing I can do. I swear. Gonna do it, Paul. All right, shut up, you lot listening. Tonight, it is my pleasant duty as Grand Pooh Bar to welcome a new member to the world renowned Winkle Club. Hey. A new candidate, please step forward. Come on, Anna. <laughs> Tonight, my dear, you are to be blessed with your very own Winkle. Run it then. You are hereby admonished to wear this loosely about your person at all times, but most importantly, never to be caught without it whilst on licensed premises on pain of being fined one round of drinks for all members present. <laughs> Woo! All right, boys. Let's see them. Oh, wings. Whoa. Oh, yes. <laughs> there we go. Come on, Bob. Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> You're quiet tonight. Not quite in the swing of things. Don't want to spoil a party. Don't worry, you won't. You know, if there's ever anything you want to talk about. No, no. Oh, no. Charles? They're just under security depot on the Marlborough Estate. Yeah, it's them, all right. Same blue overall, same balaclava, same everything. I thought the other team were meant to be covering. They were, until this lot boarded a train for Leeds. Must have got off and doubled back. A passing area car nearly got them. So, we spend months working with the profiling office, trawling through spec rims, and when we finally catch them wrecking a job... What's the word from the Oracle, Bob? Nothing. These guys are very good at keeping their mouths shut. You match those pictures yet? Yeah, Robbins, Dixon, Maidley, Jones, Valera. Robbins and Dixon are the generals. They did four years together in Brook, betting shops. Maidley is Robbins' brother-in-law. They're the extra muscle, plus they know about firearms. What about Valera? Yeah, Dixon brought him in as a driver. They were at school together. I've spoken to his old teachers, old commanding officer and educational psychologist. Now, Valera's no Einstein, but he's smarter than the rest, not as violent. He's also got a very sick parent to consider. The criminal intelligence profile says he's brittle, neurotic, and emotionally dependent. Qualities we can exploit. And by the way, he's gay. Three years RAF, dishonorable discharge. Why not continue the surveillance option? After last night's musical trains, we'll just get blown out again. Any forensic from the getaway vehicle? One or two strands of hair, blonde. Shared hair's no good for DNA testing, has to have live cells attached. Look, we need this lot on the pavement. I'm telling you, Gov, Valera's our man. I don't know, Charles. It's one thing when a participating informant comes to you. We'll give surveillance one more go. Anna, you get back out there with Alan, see if you can suss out what prize they've got their thoughts on next. Okie dokie! <laughs> It's 
them. If it's not, then we're going to a lot of trouble not to be overheard. And it's recrimination time. So, what happened last night, then? Your man hit the alarm. At least for the seconds. They were waiting for us. What are you looking at me for? I don't know, Jonesy. I thought maybe you had something to tell us. Of what? Well, like, why you never mentioned your cousin was married to a copper. Well, why should I? I never even speak to that side of the family. I see. <laughs> Don't be stupid, brother. I mean, I'd never speak to anyone. I never would. What about that hostess over the club? After tomorrow night, I'll see you right, darling. <laughs> <coughs> Stupid! Once you fixed your face up, don't let me see it again. Hey, hey! If he wasn't a grass, he might be now. Was that necessary? Well, it made me feel better. If he had said anything, it would have been the flying squad waiting for us last night. I don't know. I just don't like secrets. Okay. Last night cost us a lot of money. So, what is this other job you want to look at? Later. Where's your mate Valera? He's up at the hospital, visiting his old man. Well, that's no good to me. She's supposed to be the driver. You get off his case, Robbins. He saved our asses last night. Yeah? Well, you rode him in. It's your responsibility. That's right. You just want to forget about it. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Saying it and feeling it aren't the same thing, are they? Where'd you get cancelling? Just put everything back. Bound side. You're right, they've got another car laid down. That was supposed to turn around. Forget it. We've lost them. Yeah. No, never mind. Leave it for now. Thanks, Anna. Well, that's that then. Blown it. Hmm. Plan B?
Cheers. Cheers. And then when they gave him the all clear, it was like this weight just got lifted. Because I'd been walking down the street and just bursting into tears for, for no reason whatsoever. And people say that they understand, but they don't, because how could they unless they've been there? So, what age did you say your sister was? She was eight years old. I just started secondary school. I remember thinking leukemia was in another country somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> well, last time my dad made me promise there would be no more chemo, he said he'd rather go home, get it over with quickly, with some hair and some dignity, rather than drag it out with some sick dog. Tough love, they call it. Yeah. Listen, it's time I was off, but thanks for listening. Anytime. Oh, oh I'm Kick. sorry. Sake, man. Oh, I'm sorry, that was an accident. Doesn't mean you think that's funny? No, hey. I don't think it's funny, and I said I was sorry, and I piss off. drink he promised. So why did you help me? Because I'm really stupid. Mm -hmm. So you've had enough hard knocks for one day. Uh, thanks again. Such consideration is rare. Nice. Cheers. Mm. Where's your dad? So you said you brought him home. No, his home. I got an agency nurse to look after him. And I go around and see him as often as I can. You must be worth a few, Bob. Yeah, I'm planning to put in some overtime. What is it you do exactly? I always ask so many questions. Uh, no good. He's back at home. I see. Well, any chance of a drink then? Uh, what's up? Nothing's up. Just came to let you know that place we looked at today, well, it's uh, looking good. Uh, Chris, maybe this isn't such a good time. Oh, yeah. Who's this? Name's Bob. What have I told you about casual pickups? You said anything about casual? Shut at you. Well, Chris, this is uh, kind of different. This is a wee bit more permanent. Oh, look, I don't want you to know, right? Oh, what's the matter? You're not jealous. Well, you just tell your dad I was asking after him. Okay. okay. Well, you're full of surprises. Is there a problem with Chris? Well, nothing for you to worry about. So why did you lie about me? Fewer complications. Who is he? Chris Dixon. An old school friend. Used to pop in on my dad when I was in the Air Force. So, you and Chris... Uh, don't let him hear you say that. So this place... Look, can we save the questions till later? It's been enough talk. I'm gonna go and take a shower. And come join me. What? You're not interested? <sighs> I don't usually misread signs. 
Oh, I'm interested. Just not in the way you think. What other way is there? Sorry about this, Paul. Flying squad. Robbins, Dixon, Maidley, Jones, and you. We've got you all matched from the video. Add to that the forensic you left behind, and it's goodbye, Paulie, for the next 15 years. Yeah. No way. Carl was clean. <clears throat> Sorry, Paul. We found strands of blonde hair. My guess is the DNA test will put you in the driving seat. No. No, no way. <laughs> it's right, Paul. Your only chance is to work with us. Yeah. What tells me your father's sick? He doesn't have much time. We well, nick you now. You could be six months on the mound. You might never see him again. Bastard. I've got no idea. What about hair loss and blood transfusion? Someone you love and fades away before your eyes till he's too weak to lift a spoon? Yeah, I think I know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about love and responsibility. Come on, Paul. Next time they go, you help us catch them. If the case comes to court, you get due consideration. In the meantime, we won't oppose bail. You'll be there when your father needs you. I just drive the car, I don't care. Paul, Paul, it doesn't matter, you're still involved. <sighs> Robin's gonna kill me if he knows I've grasped him. I mean, he hates me. After the lie you told last night, he's gonna think you've grasped him anyway. Look, no, I can't do this. I was at school with Chris Dicks. Yeah, and your dad's got terminal cancer. Which is it gonna be, Paul? You can't look after both of them. What I have to do? Just drive the car. Nothing else or the deal's off. Next time they're ready to move, you tell us when and where. We nick you along with the others, make it look good. If everything goes well, we probably won't even call you as a witness. Oh. That one. Bob here with me. What? The protection. I'm more or less told Dixon that him and I were an item. And if he doesn't see him again, he's gonna know I was lying. Sounds fair. Just don't expect me to come shopping with you, okay? Baby food. Mm -hmm. It's easier to digest. A little trick I picked up last time he was ill. You know him yourself? Mm -hmm. Most of the time. And the odd week in hospital for pain control. Well, why'd you get a private nurse this time? Because this time he's gonna die. And I don't want to watch. I read you've got a sister, doesn't she help? No, she and her husband live in Newcastle. Might as well be Australia for all we ever see them. And my mother left when I was a child, so it's just me and my dad. Wait a minute. What the hell, while I'm here? Yeah. Here. Try this. Fragrance free. Mm hmm. The one you use is overpowering and sends the wrong messages. It's just a suggestion. Anna, what's the story with Jones? Still persona non grata. Hasn't been near since the beating. Here, and check this guy. The geezer cleared out of his own place and moved in with some club hostess who lives in Camberwell. Gordon. Sir, the river must be serious. <laughs> Maybe we're targeting the wrong man. What, you think Jones is a better bet than Valera? Well, if Robbins has got it wrong and made Jones a scapegoat, could be he's ready to give them up. What's to give up? He's out, remember? Yes, but we still have a string of outstandings, plus the conspiracy charge for the security depot. In which case, by giving evidence, Jones cuts himself in for a share of all the charges. Not gonna happen, is it? Maybe with the right handling, we could set something else up. We lean on Jones, there's more than an even chance he'll run straight to Robbins. Be a great way to buy back favour. No, we'll stick with Valera for the time being. And trust Bob Tate's wit and charm. A desperate tactic, I know. Please. 
So you all sorted? Sorted? Been dressed and brought to the toilet by some young girl. It's embarrassing. Did she treat you okay? Just keep me doped up. Enough pills there to strangle a horse. How much is she costing you? And don't worry about that as long as you're okay. Bloody arm and a leg, I shouldn't wonder. Who's this then? Hello, Mr. Blair. My name's Bob. How are you feeling today? Didn't he tell you I'm dying? Dad. Are you married, Bob? No, no, I'm not. Another single fella. Make yourself useful. Stick the kettle on. Dig out that bottle of scotch. Can't do any harm now. You known Paul long? Not long, no. I was looking for a good driver. Your son's name came up. RAF. I suppose that's where he learned about engines, huh? No, I taught him that. You a mechanic? Thirty-five years. When he was a kid, I had this old Ford Angler. You don't see him about nowadays. We spend the weekend stripping and putting it back together. All the parts neatly laid out in the garage floor. A place for everything, and everything in its place. I enjoyed that. We both did. I can just see the pair of you. Black as the ace of spades. Cups in the sink covered with engine oil. <laughs> Aye, it was a bit like that. <laughs> You never told him, did you? About being gay. He's a bus driver in the same company for 35 years. Couldn't take it. Maybe he knows already. Yeah, and maybe you should mind your own business. Look, you asked me to come here. Yeah, it was a mistake. When can I meet Robbins? Tonight. Sake, this better be on the level. Well, that. Don't be there. There? This is the place, isn't it? Hey, what? <laughs> hey, what is the matter, Bob? Are you afraid that you might get to like it? Now, don't start that bollocks with me. It's not about my personal orientation. It's about trust. If this is going to work, you don't lie to me. This whole relationship is based on lies. That the way that you sidled up to me in that bar and said, can I buy you a drink? That's my job. That's what I do. It's different. Oh, well, that makes it all right. Yeah, it? I think so. You took advantage of my grief. You're an old rubber, for Christ's sake. All that bullshit about your sister's leukemia. That part's true. Who's that? We're together. That's Chris. Forget it, Robo. It's not an issue. We your vouch for this, honey. That's right. Now can we move on, eh? All right. We go tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yes. Is that definite? It's definite. It's the Allied Building Society in the city. They are going to put a forklift through the plate glass window, lift the ATM machine. Aggravated burglary. Not our area, is it? It's still our team. Good work, Bob. Yeah, we were just seen earlier. Maybe you haven't lost that winkle after all. Just transferred your affections. <laughs> oh! <laughs>
You are a very sad group of people. Oh, come on. Tell us how you won him over. Give us the benefit of your technique. I'm sorry, that's classified information. Well, seriously, Bob, it could come in useful. All right, Grace. If you really want to know, first thing to understand about Agent Handler. Always be the governor. Never let your man get comfortable. Never let him get the upper hand. You want him to trust you, but you want to keep him slightly off balance. You know what I mean? That way he becomes psychologically dependent on you as a handler. Last thing, build a rapport by all means, but never, ever tell him anything that's important to you. Isn't that right, Gov? Yep, that's right. OK. How'd you actually get next to him in the first place? Well, that part was easy. Just told him some old bollocks about my sister dying of leukaemia. What? What's wrong? It's what the governor's little boy died of. Sorry. Sorry about that. Forget it. Just do what you gotta do. Right, you've got 30 seconds to lift the crate and put it in the back of the bag. 50 quid says you knock something over. What? Only 50? Why not make a done me? <laughs> 100, is it? All right. Are you ready? Born ready. Go! Go on, Chris! Come on! Come on! It's ten seconds gone, mate. Go on, Chris! Good. Yep, you're okay, straight. Fifteen seconds. Get up, mate. You're not going to make it. Come on, Chris! Go on, Chris. Come on. Get that money ready, Robbins. Go all the way. Lower it down. Lower it down. Go on. Perfect. 28 seconds. So how you want to pay for that? Cash or credit card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! <laughs> What's up, mate? Nothing. Six three. What's that way down there? Just about go. Ted? Yeah, no problem stuff. Apart from the air quality, which is deteriorating rapidly. Fox or last room. What's there? Okay, everyone, stand by. This could be it. All right, bring her in. Second vehicle on the plot. Repeat. Second vehicle on the plot. I think they're going for it. Ready to go on my order. Leave it. What? 
Walk away, get back in the car. Come on, Chris. They're running. Take them out. Go, go, go. available. Repeat, any units available. Well, must have bottled it. Bottled it. Down to you, this one. Down to you. Anything? Well, they'll be keeping their heads down after this. Yeah, well, it won't be easy. They probably still owe money on the jobs that went wrong. They've been desperate for cash. Right, maintain surveillance on all their houses and keep checking local haunts. That includes your man Valera. If you want Valera, I think I know where he'll be. OK, bring him in. Before I do, just give us another show. I still think I can bring him round. No, your trouble, Bob. You're a terminal optimist. Bring him in! Look, I know the guy. I know how he thinks. Yeah, well, you didn't last night. All right, one last chance. You broke it, you fix it. What you come to arrest me? I still haven't made up my mind. Right, go ahead, nick me. I don't care anymore, I've had enough. What happened last night? I couldn't do it. I could do it to the others, maybe, but I couldn't do it to Chris next time. We'll see. Never mind that these guys are pouring petrol over people. Come on, Paul, it's not you. Look, I told you I've had enough. I'm going to tell them tonight. Tell them what? Well, that I'm out of there. Forget it, you're up to your neck. I'm going to stay home, I'm going to look after my dad, and there is no point in you coming around here and playing a hard part. You're not hearing me, Paul. Offences have been committed. Me and you have a deal. There's no walking away. Take my chances. Oh, yeah? What about your old man? What's he gonna do? What is it? He's all right, isn't he? No, he's got a lot worse. Um, it's all happening a lot, lot quicker than I thought it would. Um, I've been around here since half past seven this morning. Nurse called and said he was asking for me. And what's the matter? He's gone through a bad patch. Uh, pain keeps getting worse and uh, keeps regressing. Can I see him? How are you, John? I'm 
pull you something. Stay. Uh, maybe see you later. Bye, John. Just think about what I said. Before we see the other two, I've been thinking. Yeah? Last night was the closest we've come. I'm thinking of giving it a rest for a while. What, you mean, Paula? I needed the money to look after my dad. It's not working, is it? I'm gonna look after him myself for a bit and see how it goes. Not a good time, mate. There's things to sort out. What things? Just things. Besides, what you do for money? We're all skint. I'm in debt up to my balls. Rob was talking about going back to do some betting shops, something we know. And we're going to need a good wheel man, i.e. you. I might have to insist on this. <laughs> insist all you like. Jonesy insisted he was innocent and look what happened to him. I saved your life last night. Yeah. And how many times have I saved you, eh? It was me who used to slap the other boys at school for calling you a queer, remember? Yeah, I remember. Tell me, what was it interested you most, Chris? Me, or the money you took for doing it? Just try walking out in this job, and you'll find out. Right, that's twice in two outings. No mistake this time. Agreed. Look, we gotta get away somewhere. Abroad. That costs money. And then there's what we already own, the weapons. Do a couple of betting shops. I might be able to borrow the rest. Listen, there's this guy down in New Haven's got a boat. I reckon we lie up for a couple of days and then split. First we gotta take care of this other thing. Does Midlin know you? You go and break it to him. I'll look after your friend. Okie dokie. Hi, Paul. What's happening? Oh, don't worry, mate. This won't take long. Just got to sort out a bit of a problem. Wait, what's the problem? You know, about last night. Somebody set us up. Is that what you think? It's what I know. And I know who. But don't jump to any conclusions, because remember, it was my driver. Shut up and listen. You see, now, there's only one person it could have been. I think we both know who I'm talking about. I never know what my sister saw in him. Oh, by the way, I went on for last night. Did good. You're all right. You were there when I needed you, son. Nothing else matters. Oh, my love. Dad.
this is where I live. It's not my office. I didn't know where else to go. Come on. What's typical? He'd been hoarding painkillers. Spitting them out when the nurse wasn't looking. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll bet. You got no hold on me now. That's not what I meant. Oh, God, what am I going to do? It's okay, mate. Let it out. <sighs> no, you don't understand. that They've shot Maidley. They're not going to let me go. Maidley? Yeah, they thought he was the grass. It was Chris. I saw him do it. You prepared to give evidence? <sighs> yeah, anything to get away from this. They're hiding out on the coast. Okay. I'll leave it to me. You can stay here tonight. <laughs> no, I've, I'm supposed to be back there in two hours. Why? P paranoia. You only let me out so I could get my dad sorted. If I'm not back there in two hours, they're going to be gone. Is it that enough time? <sighs> no. Listen, Paul, I need you to go back there. No. Keep them housed no, till we get oh, there. Listen, please. trust me. I won't let anything happen to you. Can you tell him to call the office as soon as he gets in? We've got a job on. Yeah, Mr. Andrews. Thanks. DC Donachie Flying Squad here. Yeah. Look, I believe you did some work to our clapboard house down in Kent last year. Grace, check the map reference. Pass it to SO11 and SO19. Ted, you're on route. Alan, radios and spare batteries. Anna, you speak to the local Kent commander. Bring him up to speed. OK. After Valera's last performance, you better be sure about this one. I'm sure. You took your time. Where have you been? I had some things to sort out. What things? Funeral arrangements. Uh, my dad's dead. I had to call my sister in Newcastle. Sorry, dear. Yeah. Let him know why I wouldn't be around. Oh, well, it can't be helped, eh? Let's play. Take your mind off of things. So, Ed. Leave here tomorrow midnight. Be at the marina by one. And it's just a quick hop across the channel and gone. Sounds good. All we need now is some cash, eh? Question up. Dad always liked you. Said you were decent. Yeah, yeah, OK, Polly. I said I'm sorry about what happened to your dad. Now, can we move on, eh? Yeah. What about jumping a tourist bus at one of the motorway services? That's got to be worth a few grand. No, go on the helicopter, Gov. It's already committed on a drug zone. Right, forget it. Still short on vehicles, Gov. I'm trying for a pool car. OK, whatever you can get. Well, there's roadworks at the M20 uh, Junction 8. Any route will take us through central London, but it's not going to be an easy run. Nothing. I was actually thinking about, you know, things we got up to when we were kids. You remember that Outward Bounds course they sent us on? Aye. We had the asthmatic kids in here and watched them turn blue. <laughs> mm. And I used to follow you about everywhere. Aye, I remember. It was bloody embarrassing. All the other boys began to talk. Yeah, I remember. Bastards hauled me out of bed one night and covered me with Ral Jackson boot polish. We went out for a smoke, if I remember. It took me weeks to get that stuff off. I kept on shouting for you, but I guess you didn't hear me. Girl, cool, just boys. Yeah. Things are different now, eh? Aye. Hey, Paulie. Whatever happened to that boyfriend of yours? What did you say his name was again? What do you mean, Bob? That's it. 
Bob. I thought you said you knew him. No, I never said I knew him. I said it wasn't an issue. There's a difference. So, what have you told him about all of this then, Paul? Nothing. Nothing? You sure? Yeah, of course I'm sure. Why'd you ask? Well, you must have told him something about going away. So that he doesn't fret. No, we could be quite relaxed, you know. Come day, go day. I thought you said it was more permanent than that. It's <laughs> no idea. Three seconds. What's with the window patrol? What are you looking at out there? Nothing. Oh, pack it in. You're making me nervous. Don't worry. We've got another day of this. Shut up and deal with the cards. What is it? What is it? It's nothing. Who's out there, Polly? I don't know what you're talking about. It was you. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Chris Dunn. Wasn't it? Chris Smith's It's Paul Chris. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Chris it? Chris! Arm police, stay where you are. Are you okay? 